every 23rd spring for 23 days it gets to eat hello folks welcome back to our channel reviews today i'm going to be reviewing jeepers creepers 2 the very sequel of jeepers creepers the movie was released in 2003 two years after the first one and was directed by victor salva once again the cast is made of Ray Wise as Jack Taggart, Jonathan Brack as the Creeper, Eric Nanager as Scott Burdock, Nikki A. Cox as Minxie Hayes, Billy Aaron Brown as Andy Buck, and Mary Delphino as Rhonda Truth. The movie is actually taking place uh, on the 22nd day of the Creeper's feeding uh, ritual. And uh, so it starts with that opening scene, which is taking place uh, in a field. And uh, actually a boy named Billy is actually setting up scarecrows. And his uh, father, uh, Jack, is like, hey, Billy, check the other two. Make sure they're right up good. But then something mysterious and out of the ordinary happens. And uh, I don't want to spoil the movie too much, but basically it's going to it's going to compel Chad to go and hunt down the creeper and annihilate it once and for all. Now, the movie uh, shifts uh, to the, the 23rd day of the creeper's feeding ritual. And uh, now we we are actually following uh, like uh, a bus full of uh high school students, high, uh, football players, and cheerleaders. And uh, they go into that uh, football game, but then something mysterious happens. Indeed, they get a flat tire, and they get stuck in the middle of the road. It's a very long, deserted, lonely road uh, stretching on for miles. And then it's uh, the sun is starting to set, and uh, it's getting dark. So... They get pretty, you know, creeped out by that because something is about to happen to them. Indeed, the creeper starts attacking them one by one. The coach, the bus driver, and the students themselves find themselves the next potential victims of the creeper. And uh, one of the main characters, her name was uh, Minxie, starts having those visions sort of dreams that come to her and she sees Derry warning her and uh, telling her about the creeper, what he is. And there's a very famous line I would like to share with you. He's actually, he goes like that every 23rd spring for 23 days, it gets to eat. Mixie's like, eat what? And then you get to see Derry telling her, eat us. So it's a very quick uh, appearance from uh, Justin Long, sort of a cameo thing, but it was so done so perfectly well. It actually, actually made it count. So after that, like uh, the students keep arguing with one another, they don't know what to do. They can get a, uh, an agreement. They can get into an agreement because uh, they're very immature and uh, unpredictable. And you have a boy, his name is, is Scott. And his, he seems to be, you know, have, uh, you know, a beef against the other guys in the bus. And his girlfriend, his her name is Rhonda, actually is trying to be a moderator and try to have them work as a team. But uh, Scott doesn't really want to, you know, uh, work with the others he actually he seems to be a little bit racist too so I didn't like the character for that but yeah he's not such a good character in the movie and he's uh, he's actually yeah really stubborn and uh, doesn't want to listen to others and stuff like that and uh, I believe that uh, Rhonda is his ex-girlfriend and uh, so, yeah, there's uh, some bad blood between them or something, but still they're trying to, you know, make it work, but it doesn't seem to be working that well. Now, 
uh, the creeper is going to attack the bus at night and they're going to find themselves trapped in the bus. So you have that notion of entrapment, sort of a claustrophobic setting. And they don't know what to do. If they go out, the creeper may, you know, attack them and kill them and eat them. But if they stay inside, the creeper could could as well, you know, get inside as well and, uh, you know, attack them. So it's trying to sort out who to take, you know, uh, who may be his next praise. And that was such a powerful scene. The creeper in that movie was so, so scary, so terrifying, actually, especially when he's peering inside the bus. It's in the middle of the night and everything is uh, it's so dark all around and you have the creeper's face just there sta- staring. Yes, that was so creepy. Uh, so, I believe I said it all for the movie. I don't want to spoil, spoil it too much or anything, but then you're going to have Jack coming along with this, uh, with a homemade harpoon to try to, you know, kill the creature, basically, because it's his 23rd day, which means that it's uh, the last day, and after that, he'll be gone for 23 years before reappearing again. So, that's pretty much it for the movie. Now let's move on to my views. I freaking love the movie. The opening sequence with the scarecrows was so so scary, so terrifying, so mysterious, so eerie. It introduced, you know, the movie in a beautiful way, in such a creepy way, in such gruesome details at some point. That was such a great scene. I really liked the movie stars. Then, you know, with the bus, you know, uh, you know, with all the students and uh, the flat tire in the middle of the road, obviously something caused it. I don't want to tell you what, but it has something to do with the creeper, just so you know. But yeah, I don't want to spoil the movie too much. I'm going to try to, you know, skip uh, any important thing, any important piece of information. But I freaking love the movie and uh, the creeper's rampage, you know, actually was very much, uh, in this movie, it was so genuine and it looked so real you know the way he would attack his future his future praise and all that it's such a genius like idea the director had you know with this movie and uh the the screenplay and all that the way it was directed you know with the camera and stuff actually captures ca- it captures the fear that the students feel actually and the fact that you know, there are a lot of students there inside the bus, actually gives uh, the creeper the opportunity, it gives him the opportunity to have a wide range of victims, and the way they actually act, the students, is so good, so, like, like, genuine, like, it really feels like they're terrified, and so, so are we as the viewers, the movie definitely needs more attention. It doesn't get a lot of attention, unfortunately. But if you love scary movies, you should definitely check that one out. Obviously, you would need to watch Jeepers Creepers, the first movie before. But that one could actually be even better than the second one. Than the first one. For, forgive me. I don't actually know if I would prefer. I prefer it over the first one. But definitely, it's definitely one of my favorite scary movies of all time. So, yeah. I, I think that the the use of uh, jump scares in the movie was very efficiently used in that film, and uh, it actually made me, you know, jump more than once, actually, and it kept me uh, at the edge of my seat, because, you know, there's this suspense that is growing in us viewers as we keep watching and uh, wonder who's going to make it, right? So, actually, you know, it does a great job at maintaining us in suspense, so to speak, and uh, I think that everything is great about the movie, you know, the action, the the way uh, the story unfolds, and uh, most of the movie takes place at night, obviously, because, uh, you know, the creeper is gonna, you know, show up at night, obviously, he's a monster, so night is uh, the perfect uh, time of the day to be hunting, right, but yeah, most of the movie takes place at night, and you have, you know, this, uh, this uh, clear sky, actually, with all those with with all those stars, you know, uh, glimmering and uh, twinkling, and uh, you actually are kind of uh, wondering what's going to happen. You you are kind of wondering what's going to happen uh, 
with the, in the movie, basically. And these uh, stars made as well, I just thought about it, may actually represent, you know, um, like uh, the student's uh, chances of surviving, right? Uh, because you don't actually know if they're going to make it. And that's what actually makes the movie all the more, like, uh, all the more greater. Because you really have the sense that something bad is going to happen in the movie. Obviously, if you have watched the first one, you you know that something is going to happen at the end of the movie, right? And uh, something not pleasant at all. Now, the movie ends with a cliffhanger. And I really hope we'll get some uh, uh, conclusion to the movie in the future. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, the third one didn't actually bring anything like... Uh, it didn't conclude uh, the arc, but hopefully the fourth one will. And uh, so, yeah, it actually, you know, ended in a very enigmatic sort of way and uh, mysterious as well. Because uh, something is about to happen and we have to know what exactly. Now, I really loved uh, Ray Weiss. He's a great actor in this, in this particular movie. He was so awesome as Jack, the, the father. And uh, he has a, a son, too. Uh, I don't actually recall his name. Uh, I believe it's, uh, mm, uh, hold on a second. It's Taggart, his last name. Yeah, I believe it's Jack, Jack, um, or, yeah, Jack, Jackie, Taggart Jr., something like that. I don't actually remember, but he was good also. He helped his father, you know, he was like, uh, trying to, you know, uh, be be of, uh, of help to him with uh, the weapons and all that. And uh, actually, they would track down the creeper uh, in the movie so they would know actually where he happens to be. And, uh, you know, there's that really, you know, big uh, stretch of road that actually stretches on for miles so they don't actually know where exactly uh, the creeper is uh, uh, could be nor the nor the students and uh yeah also what i really liked about the movie is uh basically uh they're gonna try to find him and you have that quest actually that is actually a very good way of um you know playing on uh the mysterious aspects of uh the movie itself of what the the myth is the myth and uh, this uh, creeper, which was coined actually bad out of hell in this uh, in this movie at the end, I believe. But yeah, it was such a great movie. I really enjoyed it. I think the acting was uh, great. And uh, a lot of characters I loved, including uh, Minxie had the visions of Derry. Uh, Mary Dauphino as uh, Rhonda, who was great as... Uh, you know, the girl who's trying to keep everybody together as a crew. And you have a scene, actually, which is quite funny, when one, where one of the guys says, uh, so what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to stay, are we supposed to stay in or go out, something like that, you know? And he's like, uh, so now we have, there are two groups, right? The ones who will be eaten and the ones who won't be eaten, something like that. Sorry if I didn't get the line that right. I'm going to try to, you know, uh, know more about the characters uh, I'm sorry, there's so many, I kind of forgot most of them. There's uh, a South uh, um, an uh, African-American uh, boy who's actually uh, one of the main actors. And I really liked uh, the way he was, uh, you know, trying to stay stay focused and stay clear from the creeper. I think that was such a great uh, thing to see in, in this particular movie. And he keeps on arguing with... Uh, or Scott, basically, they don't get along with one another. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if I were to give that movie uh, a rating, I would give it 9 out of 10. It was such a great, scary movie. If you haven't watched it already, you should definitely check this one out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that review. So what did you think about Jeepers Creepers 2? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think it's a good sequel? Do you think it's a bad sequel? Please let me know in the comment section down below, folks. And uh, in the meantime, stay safe. Goodbye. Take care. This is Horror Channel Reviews for you, signing off.